Now let's go back and see how the IC Type 5 gave her briefing and deployed her resources. All right, your three minutes are up. You have all been dropped off at this point. The helicopter is gone. This represents the incident commander and this represents your crew. And Christina, I'd like you to deliver your plan of action to the crew. Okay guys, uh, we've all seen the fire when you flew around it. Um, this is a squid fire, just to remind you. Um, the terrain is steep. There's a creek at the bottom. We all saw that there wasn't any water on it um, usable for us right now. Um, the fuel type we all saw was light pondy and there is some grass down there, so heads up. The wind is going to change later on today, so just make sure you keep a heads up. Um, the temperature for the weather is going to be increasing to 98 degrees. Um, the RH will be dropping to 18% from 20%, and the winds are going to change from the southwest that you're seeing right now at 3 to 5 to 10 to 15 to the northwest, out of the northwest. And that's probably going to occur around 3 o'clock, but again, heads up because that grass could be tricky. What we're going to do right now, my intent is for the crew, three of us, will come down, walk down to the bottom, and anchor in at the bottom and flank it on the right side. Deb, I'm going to break you off from the crew, and you are going to go scout out this subdivision and make sure there's no people, make sure everything is um, has good defensible space and just come up at the plan. Um, I mean, I'm going to be calling for engines to kind of relieve you, so just come up at the plan. That way we can give the strike team leader when they come. Okay. Okay. Um, the escape route and safety zone, stay in the black. If the safety zone is a black, the escape route, you it's only a one acre fire, so you're not going to have to run anywhere, we hope. So just keep black with you at all times, wherever you go. Deb, um, you will need to come down, scout out a safety zone for you. Make sure you have a safety zone wherever you are. If you feel like you're in danger, just hit that safety zone and get a hold of me on the radio. As far as radios go, we have the scene of action. That's what we're going to run this fire on. Um, make sure you're scanning air to ground. And also, we have TAC-1 when the other resources come in. As far as if medical reasons occur, we are going to assess the situation. We are all first responders, and we'll figure out how serious this is, and we'll come up with a plan. Just let me know right off the bat. Are there any questions so far? So when we get down here, um, do you want us to just start punching line or right around the bottom of it? Or? Right, we're going to anchor in at the origin of the fire and we're going to flank on the right hand side just to protect the subdivision right now. We are not going to worry too much on the left flank because there's only three of us so we're going to call in more resources to help us out. When they come in they're going to um, flank the left. I'm going to have them flank the left and we will probably transition into type 4 at that time. Squid Fire IC, Pleasant Valley Dispatch. Pleasant Valley Dispatch, Squid Fire IC, go ahead. Yeah, we're assuming you're on scene now and uh, the FMO is in here waiting for a status report. Okay, right now, currently the fire is at one acre. It is not threatening the subdivision at this time. It is going um, headed in the east up the ridge and we will be needing more resources to come in. We need the two type fours and the volunteer fire department. We need another crew to come as soon as possible. And if there is a type four I see with that crew, that'll great, be great. We appreciate it if you bring them to possibly a type three. Uh, copy that. We'll get those resources headed your way. One clarification, you said you wanted another crew. What type of crew are you referring to? Uh, if we have a hand crew available, I would prefer them, but as far as my understanding, the, uh, there's a hell attack available right now. If you want to send them in, we can get them in right away via the hell spot on top of the ridge where we landed. Okay, we'll send the Boundary Waters hell attack crew 
engine 4-2, engine 7-7, seven, seven, and the Mud Flats Volunteer Fire Department. Okay, copy that. Um, Pleasant Valley Dispatch, please notify the engines that Deb Yoder is now currently at the subdivision and she will be their contact when they arrive on scene. Copy, Deb Yoder in the subdivision. Okay, let's get going. No more questions. No? All right, you've briefed your crew and everybody's going to work. So that means that uh, Yoder moves down the ridge into the subdivision and you and your crew move down the ridge and up to the anchor point. It's now 12.30. The Boundary Waters Hell Attack crew has just landed on top. Engines 4.2 and 7.7 are in the subdivision and the Mud Flat Volunteer Fire Engine is on the other side of the bridge. Squid Fire IC, Mud Flat Volunteer Fire Department. Mud Flat, Squid Fire IC, go ahead. Okay, we have a problem here. Uh, we're not sure that this bridge is gonna support our engine and uh, we're not gonna take the chance and so we're stuck on the west side of the creek. Do you have any instructions for us? Okay, copy that. Um, I'm going to have you be our water tender for right now. If you can find, a, you might have to dam up an area in the creek so you can draft water out of and we'll just have the engines come back to you and be if they need water. Um, at that point, we might have to pull your two engine crew members up to help with hose lays if needed. So okay. go ahead and stay on that side of the bridge for right now. We'll find a draft point and uh, await further instructions. Okay. Squid, Fire IC, Foundry Waters, Hell Attack. Foundry Waters, Hell Attack, Squid, Fire IC, go ahead. Yeah, we just landed up here on the ridge at the hill of spot. Uh, what are your wishes? Okay, yes, I did see you fly over. How did the fire look? Uh, it's starting to pick up a little bit. It looks like the wind's starting to push it more towards the west, up towards the ridge top. Okay, copy that. Um, did you get a visual of me at the anchor point? Yeah, I saw the line construction action you got going on down there. Uh, what are your wishes for us? Okay, copy that. What's your highest qual? Um, I'm an IC Type 4. I have an assistant captain who's a IC, uh, crew boss, and then uh, two firefighter Type 1s and two firefighter Type 2s. Okay, copy that. If you want to head west down the, the ridge line and come tie in with me at the anchor point we can do it face to face and I would like to transition with you at that point. Uh, copy that. We have uh, hand tools, a chainsaw and some burning equipment. What would you like us to drag down with us? Um, you're going to need some chainsaws. Um, go ahead and bring a couple of torches just in case we need to burn out on the subdivision side. The winds are expected to pick up, pick up at this time so go ahead and bring all that you need. Is your ship leaving? Yeah, the ship will be taken off and returned to Hilla Base. Okay, copy that. Let me know your status. Copy that. Yeah. I see Yoder on tack. Yoder, good fire IC, go ahead. I have engine 42 and 77 on scene. We are going to improve the defendable space of the houses on the north end. Do you have anything else that you'd like us to be doing? Yes, Yoder, um, I haven't got word with you yet. How is access up into the subdivision there? The access is all right. The engines were able to make it over the bridge. I understand that the volunteer engine is going to be the water tender at this time. Are the structures threatened at this time? Um, as far as is there going to be a lot of improvement needed? Um, minimal improvement will be needed. Um, just trying to prepare ourselves for the wind shift predicted later on today. Okay, um, how about um, hydrants or any kind of water sources up there? Did you happen to see any? I didn't see any water sources um, except for the dry creek. Okay, um, Yoder, if you could also talk to the engines and see what their highest qual is, I would like to just um, get you back here with the crew and leave um, a strike team leader if they have one in charge of the subdivision and relieve you of your duties there. Copy that, so I'll get, get back. back to me. 
Okay, it is now 1500. The temperature is 94 degrees. Relative humidity is 18%. The winds are starting to come out of the northwest and they're picking up and the fire is starting to grow. It's now approximately four acres consuming most of this bowl. Transition is complete between Christina and the new Type 4 IC. And dispatch is calling with the FMO and wanting to know if the new IC has a status update. 